Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alec Hibbert. We are back again in there, Thursday, with a different kind of video. Yes, this is the normal Dune 2000, but I'm actually talking in a Dune 2000 video. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have. But, uh, yeah, this time I'm going to be doing a tutorial series on Dune 2000, trying to get more people into the Dune 2000 community, and I know it's kind of tough. There isn't a ton of tutorials. It's just, especially if you look at my, vi on my videos, you just go, oh, he's not talking. And I don't understand this game, all he's doing is clicking a bunch of random stuff and moving a bunch of random stuff, and yeah, I don't quite understand what's going on. But uh, this series, I'm going to be doing a tutorial series on it. I'm going to teach new players how to play this game the way you see it played when I play multiplayer and whatnot. And so we can get more people in the community, and uh, also is my goal to get people better at the game. So in this episode, we're going to be doing, I'm just facing an AI on the map. And uh, in this one, I'm going to be showing you the build order. Now, the starting units you see here, uh, don't worry about those. I'm going to be doing another video on scouting. <laughs> so when you start off, you're going to have your MCV here. And this is your construction vehicle. You see how it's got a little uh, blinky thing to expand? You click on it, and then it allows your MCV to be built. Now, the first thing you do is you want to build some concrete. And I'll move my units in the corner right here, and we're not going to worry about those right now. This is just a, a build order thing. So yeah, the first thing to do is you build concrete. This is your buildings tab. So you click on it, and you can see how it. you can place it down, and you place that down here. And then wind trap. You need power. This is your power grid right here. See if you hold it, it's a power at 110%. And wind traps give you power. Now concrete allows you to put down buildings on this without taking any damage. But it also is slow, so if you throw it on concrete, it takes a, a minute because you can't build anything else, you're building concrete. So the next thing in the build order is you build refinery. Refinery allows you to collect spice. Spice is the resource you see up in the top right here. So yeah, and you're going to see me throw down uh, the refinery without concrete. Now that's a uh, mistake a lot of new players make. They come out of the campaign, they put concrete on everything, because that's kind of what they tell you to do. But it's too slow that way. And it doesn't work. So, you have the refinery down, and you see how it's have half health? Don't worry about it. Don't try and repair it or anything. You can repair it when you're under attack, but other than that, don't worry about it. Next step in the build is you're going to build an era concrete. And then you're going to build another wind trap. Now, you only want to use concrete for your wind traps because you want them at full power. If they're at half health, like this, then uh, they're only producing half the power that they, uh, that they can produce. The next step is to build the heavy factory. The heavy factory allows you to build heavy units like combat tanks, missile tanks, um, sonic tanks, devastators, deviators, depending on your house. It also allows you to build... Uh, Siege tanks and also in our MCV and allows you to build harvesters, which is the main thing in this right now. You want to build harvesters with them. So as you put down this, you want to click a build a harvester and build a refinery. Now you want to keep building harvesters. The ending goal of this beginning is you want four refineries and twelve harvesters. So right now I have one harvester. Whoops. Go back to <laughs> So as you can see, after you put down the heavy factory, you build a uh, harvester and you build another refinery and you're going to do that again. And you're going to keep building harvesters till you have 12. You'll get used to the number and how many times you click, but for right now you can just count them. We have three. <laughs> as we wait for more building, and as soon as the next one's done, you want to click it and keep building. And then that's done. Once you hit the three there, you're going to want to get more power. Because if you throw it on anything else, we're going to run out of power. And when you're out of power, everything builds slow and it's not fun. So the next step is we're going to build another heavy factory and keep building harvesters. We're at six right now. Uh, the other heavy factory in this game, basically, if you have three, so say, uh, heavy factory. To be able to increase production efficiency and speed, you're going to want a total of three of heavy factories and light factories and barracks. That increases it to its max potential, building efficiency. So after we build the second uh, heavy factory, we can build our fourth refinery. Unit ready. And also continuing to build harvesters. Now I'll talk about the clock in a uh, next one, but don't worry about it for right now. Construction and there we go. I know there's more spice up here, and just keep building that. 
Once we have that down, I'm going to need another power plant. And always throw it on concrete and then another power plant. And what do we have? Four. Can count four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and here's our twelfth. There's our final harvester. So next step, we're going to build our third heavy refiner, heavy factory. Now the build orders. This is where people can change it up a bit. Some people go like uh, barracks here, but if you stick to mine, it'll be okay. I mean, it's not a bad thing. And after you have twelve, you're gonna want to start building combat tanks. Also, one thing I like to do once I hit twelve is I upgrade my heavy factory. It's in this upgrade tab here. You click on it, and then you click Unit upgrade ready. heavy factory. Construction complete. What that allows us to do, that allows us to build siege tanks. But also continuing to build combat tanks Unit from here ready. on out building. because we have hit our max number of harvesters. New construction. Now after our third, here's our new construction options. There's our siege Unit tanks. Ready. So after this step, we're going to want to build building. two barracks because we have the ability to, uh, we have the power for Unit that. Ready. So here we go, we can go one barracks, and then we can also, as soon as you put down the barracks, you go and upgrade the barracks. Now you want to continuously produce infantry and units. Basically, you want to if you can, continue to produce units all the time, so you don't want this to ever be slowed up. So after you put down the two barracks, we're going to put down another, uh, another uh, wind trap. I'm going to bring these guys out here just to... So they're not in the way of anything. I'm going to put down an wind trap. And then after this, I'm going to go for an outpost. Outpost allows us to get radar. So if you click this middle thing, this is uh, just the tab where I can see the enemy. Always make sure to keep building units. I'm going to throw it on this. And now we can see we have radar, which is really helpful. After the radar, you want to go with some concrete again. And another wind trap. Unit ready. Training. As I keep building the whole time. I mean, I'm not doing as efficient as I should, definitely, because I'm trying to explain and everything, but you always want this to be producing units at all times. Now, the next thing we're going to go is to go into the starport. The starport allows us to, when you click on it, you can buy units from from uh, space, basically, and they send it in, and uh, there are extra units on top of this. They're very good for sending in uh, MCBs and whatnot, and so everything else missile Unit tanks and whatnot. Ready. So once we have this, we can go to the starport and we want to send in some MCVs because we want to expand. So I usually, if I can, I usually get two MCVs and then the rest, missile tanks and siege tanks. Order placed. Keep building and now I'm going to build more Unit power. Ready. Training. Construction complete. Unit ready. T minus four. Unit ready. More power. And then after this, I'm going to go with Light Factory. Light Factory allows us to build quads and trikes. They're very good for scouting and very good for raiding units, but they're also very good as supplementary in your army. We can build two of those, and then we can go to the Upgrade tab and upgrade the Light Factory so we can build quads and not just trikes, because quads are the mainstay. It looks like we were under attack. <laughs> Construction complete. Alright, and after Unit that we're going to build more power because as you can see our power is low. Currently we're under attack, which is just splendid in this tutorial. Thanks guys. Now, see the MCVs? You're going to want to put one in your base and you're going to want to send one as an expansion. That's going to be your next step. So, you put the next one in your base, and that goes along with the theme of building three. You know what I mean? You want three heavy factories, and then next in the build order, build a barracks. Because you want three heavy factories, three MCVs, and three light factories, three heavy factories, three barracks. That's minimum in the game, because that'll give you your max uh, efficiency. So here's the light factory. Apparently, I'm under attack and lost a lot of harvesters, so we're going to go stop this. And this is why you want to keep producing, because he's going to attack you. And here we are. We have our max number. So I'm going to... I'm going to build another power plant, because we're low on power. And then we can build an IX Research Center. A lot of people like to go to the IX Research Center earlier than, I, than this, which is a good idea too. Like, you can go an IX Research Center before you throw down, after your first Light Factory goes down. You don't have to build the extras. I was just showing you that as an option, you can build it this way too. This is if you want to have a lot of 
light units Unit quick. Ready. Training. Where it's Unit mostly ready. your armies composed of siege tanks and combat Unit tanks and ready. quads and Billy. rocket men. You can have, you'll have a lot of units because Unit these take longer Unit to produce. Ready. So after this, Unit ready. and after this you have the mostly the beginning uh, build order down. You Unit know what I mean? If you copy ready. this beginning build order, Unit you will ready. do pretty well. And you also just want to get fast with Unit it. Ready. You want to be able to build really quick. After this step, what Unit you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build constant refineries. Unit ready. Now all game Training. you want to be building refineries. Unit ready. Training. When you have the money, you can send in like, I like to bring in some harvesters with my units Unit because I don't ready. have a ton of money. And since I just lost a lot of harvesters, you're going to want to bring in some harvesters too anyway. And you're going to want to keep on building refineries. From here on out, building refineries and building units is your only goal at this point. We're basically past the beginning, uh, the beginning build order. We have our expansion MCV up here where we can also build units. Now, the one thing is, one hotkey. I'm going to teach you a little hockey right here. H is uh, back to your home, which is your construction yard that you have selected. Now, you can also select another MCV. I see this thing that we saw at the beginning of the map that says open up. You can primary click that, selected. and you hear how he said primary building selected. Now, my home key is actually this one up here, and you can select that on any MCV. You can also select this with buildings. See how this one's my primary building? That means all my units that I create here, let's get these out of the way are going to be built here. See Unit how ready. they have the flashes in there? And then when the unit's done, it'll Unit come out of ready. this. You can also switch it for uh, to build off of this. Now it's building out of that. Same Unit with light factories ready. and Primary same with barracks. Selected. See, you Primary can switch them up selected. to drop off at that Unit point. Ready. That's good for example Unit like ready. this. You want to expand and you want to get closer to your enemy. So you put a heavy factory up here and you Primary select this selected. as your primary. Building. Now, building. My units will be built ready. out of here. Unit ready. Unit See, ready. now my heavy factory units will be produced out of this heavy factory. So yeah, that was a unit quick tutorial ready. on how to uh, how the beginning ready. order, beginning unit build order ready. goes. A lot of people, uh, after unit the ready. you get a uh, 12, 12 harvesters, four refineries, and uh, three heavy factories, it can kind of some people have their own build orders with it. But uh, if you do this, you'll be perfectly fine. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you put the IX Research Center, which allows you to get the advanced heavy heavy factory stuff, like in my case, Harkonnen's unique unit, the Devastator, and missile tanks. But pretty much this is the build order that you guys can follow, and if you guys get pretty quick at it, you guys will be pretty competitive if you guys are fast and efficient in your building. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be putting up more videos. The next video will probably be scouting with the initial units that you saw. I will teach you guys how to scout the map. And uh, so you can see more and so you can scout your enemy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you found this helpful, definitely use a like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you guys have any comments on what you guys want me to do for next videos or anything I can improve on in this tutorial, definitely let me know as I just get nuked. <laughs> but that's alright. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will hope to see you guys in the next video.